Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on simple and compound interest. Again, uh, based on uh, past exam questions and suitable for IGCSE, GCSE, O level and high school mathematics. And there are, these are the questions. And this whole question, the whole, the whole number carries uh, 12 marks. So um, here we go. And now, and now for the questions now. And the first one says, uh, Mr. Pereira shares $200 between his two sons in the ratio, uh, Pedro to Jose, uh, of, three, of three to two. Okay. And then it goes on to say, um, write this ratio in the form N to one. So to get one there, to get this form here, I need to divide two by two to get one. And because I've halved two, I must also have three. So I then do three over two to two over two. So we end up with uh, a ratio of 1.5 to one. Now we can write this as one and a half to one. That, that should be fine. Okay, right. And the next one says, now show that Pedro received $120 now. Now, because uh, Mr. Pereira shares his $200 uh, in the ratio 3 to 2, so there must be five parts. Now, if you divide 200 by 5, you get 40. So each part is worth 40, which means that uh, Pedro would get uh, 3 times 40, and that should, be 100, that should be 120. Or if you like, you can do 3 over 5 times 200, and that should give you a value of $120 there. Okay, so we're right. Moving on. Uh, Pedro invests $120 at a rate of 4% per year, simple interest. Calculate the total amount Pedro has, sorry, calculate the total amount Pedro has uh, after two years. Now, note here that total amount, the phrase total amount is enhanced, so it's in bold uh, letters there, so that should be total amount, not just simple interest. So that, that means um, to calculate simple interest, you have the formula P times T times R. Now to remember this, I tend to write uh, the word Peter. Now E's, the two E's there, have, the two E's have got no mathematical mathematical significance at all. It's just a way to help me remember the simple interest formula, Peter. P, in this case, being 120, the amount invested. T, being the time period, in this case, two years. And R, being the rate, in this case, 4%. So that gives us a simple interest of nine pounds, sorry, nine point six zero dollars there. Um, because we're looking for total amount, we then add one hundred and twenty to nine pounds, sorry, to nine point six zero, and we get a figure of one hundred twenty nine point six zero dollars there. Okay, now next section. It says Jose invests his eighty dollars. Now note here. That Jose has got eighty dollars there, because if you subtract one hundred and twenty from two hundred dollars, now all you have left is eighty, because Pedro had one hundred twenty dollars now. So, Pe so Jose must have what's left, and what's left is eighty dollars, which he now invests. He invests at a rate of three point nine five percent per year compound interest. Okay, and then he says. Calculate again the total, total amount Jose has after two years. So the total received after two years by investing eighty dollars at a company interest of um, three point nine five percent, which now which will now reduce to zero point zero three nine five. So this is now our multiplying factor. So we increase one by 0 0.0395 raised to the power of two, 
two being the number of, number of years over which he invested his money. So we end up with a figure of uh, $86.44 there. That's company interest of 80% at, at, at company interest rate of 3.95% over two years. Right. He then says, show that over two years, 3.95% per year company interest is better than 4% per year simple interest. So we need to do our simple interest calculation again using our PTR, P being, P being uh, 80, T being two, year, two years, and R being 4%. So we end up with 80 times 2 times 4 divided by 100. Uh, we get a figure of 6 0.40 dollars there. Now, because we're looking for total amounts now here, we have to add 6.40 to 80. Uh, we end up with 86 dollars and 40 cents. Sorry, 86.40 uh, cents dollars there. Sorry, 86.40 dollars there. And that's less than 86.44, which he received when he invested his money. Uh, at 3.95% compound interest over two years. So compound interest at 3.95% over two years is better than simple interest at 4% over two years. Right, moving on. Uh, the value of Mr. Pereira's car is $24,000. Uh, the value of the car decreases by what? Uh, 10% each year, so there's a depreciation there. So the multiplier factor of one will now decrease by 0 0.10 because there's depreciation. So we end up with uh, 24,000 multiplied by this multiplying factor of 1 minus 0 0.10 raised to the power 2. As the time period is two years there, and that gives us a value of. Nineteen thousand four hundred forty dollars over two years. So the car has depreciated by about four, just over four and a half thousand dollars over two years. Okay. He then says, find the total, find the number of complete years. Complete here is in bold uh, letters. There, complete years. It takes for the value of the car to reduce from. $24,000 to $10,000. So there's a depreciation there. So we don't have that 10,000 is equal to 24,000 multiplied by a uh, multiplying factor of 0 0.9 raised to the power t, t being the time period which, which you don't know, the time period in which his car depreciates from 24,000 to $10,000. And if we then Divide both sides by a thousand, we end up with 10 is equal to 24 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.10. And the 1 minus 0 0.10 is 0 0.9. So we end up with, if we divide both sides, but if we divide both sides by 24, we have that 10 over 24 is equal to 0 0.9 raised to the power t, t being the time period within which the car depreciates from $34,000 to $10,000. And 10 over 24 is same as uh, 0 0.4167, and that's equal to 0 0.9 to the power t, t being the time period within which the car depreciates from $34,000 to $10,000. So, if we take the log of both sides, uh, bear in mind the, 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 the one of the rules of logarithms. So the log of zero, log of 0 0.4167 is equal to the log of t, sorry, equal to t times the log of 0 0.9. Okay. Right. If we then divide the log of 0 0.4167 by the log of 0 0.9, we get t, and that gives us the value or t value of 8.31. But because we're looking for complete years, T has got to be nine years. 
Yeah, I hope all that made some sense. Um, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hopefully see you again sometime. Bye-bye.